Well, hello there. This is Shishi coming to you today with a flower tutorial. I'm going to call this flower my pleated flower. I honestly do not know what type of flower this is. I was inspired to make this uh, from watching a tutorial on the Heartfelt Creations website. Um, actually, I believe it was their YouTube channel. And I made this flower using the EK Success Retro Punch. I punched out this flower like this and then I also had a tool. It's a EK Success. It's called the Triple Mini Corner Rounder and I got this off of Amazon. Now you don't need to use this if you don't own it. You can cut out the design with some scissors. Um, the petals will still come out just like that. Um, I just used it because I was experimenting. But I'll show you what the petals look like. Um, I just slide the, the retro flower punch inside and then I just punch it like this. And then I get this design. Then I just flip it around, slide it in, and then I punch and then I get that design and then I just continue on until I complete the entire flower and it just kind of looks like the Ariana Blooms flower but theirs is a six petal flower and this one is five so I always wanted that die but it was a, a little pricey for me so I just tried to recreate it with the tools I had at home and I'm, I'm trying to watch my budget this year on the craft supplies that, I, that I'm spending on. So um, let's get started. So um, what you'll need for the project, I own this McGill punch and this is for the flower center. So I use that for my flower centers. Again, this is what the flower looks like and this, these are the centers. I did color the tips of my stamens brown and I use the uh, the big market markers you can use whatever you like you can leave them plain I do have a flower which is plain you know it looks like this um, I do have a blue one that is more puffed out looks like this these are three-dimensional flowers like I said I don't know what they're called um, when I watched the video it really didn't specify what kind of flowers they were they just said flowers so I'm just calling them a pleated flower so um, you'll also need some paper snips or scissors you know whatever you want to call them some glue I'm using a scotch quick dry and I put this in this applicator bottle it has a fine tip and that's good to use when you're um, gluing the stamens together because you'll need that fine tip um, in certain areas where there's just the skinny parts like this uh, you'll need fine tip for that so it's just a suggestion um, I also use a stylus um, to to round and shape my flowers you don't really need this type of set I use this McGill and the reason why I purchased it was because I was watching someone demonstrate how to shape flowers and I ran out and bought it but I've seen people use tips of you know the paint brushes you just need a rounded tip and something with a cush you know a cushion you can use fun foam a mouse pad whatever you have at home if you want to make this today I would suggest look around your house and see what you have you can even use you know something like this it's all up to you uh, I, I mean I have this on hand so I'm going to use what I have on hand uh, that I that I spent money on but you can definitely use something like this it's just not required so okay let's get started um, you'll need something to wet your flowers with I'm using a water bottle so I'm going to spray just a couple sprays get my flowers wet you don't want them too soaking wet because um, I'm going to glue my flowers today I'm, I'm not going to let them sit overnight like on the video that I watched so I'm just gonna you know damp them slightly and pleat them 
So I did color my flowers with the mark, the big market markers that you saw. So here I'm pleating them, and they're going to look. I say they look ugly before they look pretty. So when you're pleating them like this, you're going to think, "Oh my gosh, I don't like the way this looks." But when you put them all together, it's going to turn out really nice. So don't be afraid when you're pleating them together how it turns out. So I'm just pleating them. As you can see, I'm squishing them together. It's just a pleat on each petal as I'm going through each flower. Like that. And then you just go around like so. each one and then you'll end up with something like this okay I'm gonna pause this video and I'm gonna do the other two and I'll come back okay I have all my flower petals pleated and what I'm doing is offsetting each layer so it's three layers that you need and this will be my bottom layer like this and I just put a little bit of glue on each layer and offset it like so and then this will be actually I'm gonna make this my bottom layer so I'm going to glue this that Put that as my bottom layer and just kind of offset it a little bit so the flower is coming together like that okay so now this is where our stylus comes in when we're shaping the little stamens together so you just want to round them get them as tight as possible and you just round them round off four you'll need about four or you can make as many as you want so doing all four now for one of them this is where you need the scissors I'm gonna cut one to make it really tight and that's why I need the fine tip glue nozzle so I can glue this one to make it really really tight in there like so just like that hope you can see that where I cut and made it really really tiny then I'm going to glue on the tips put this one inside this one to give it more dimension then I'm going to layer this one inside the third one so I'm getting, giving it more dimension and then I'll layer this one and the fourth one And so you have something like this. Then I'll layer this one on top of the flower that we created. And then it all comes together and you have this pretty flower to layer on your scrapbook pages, cards, or even a gift. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. That's how I created all these flowers, the pleated flower. <laughs> Actually, I don't know what it's called, but I just thought it was cool. And I thought I'd share with you how I was able to create these pleats. Um, like I said, you can do this by hand. I made a smaller one and I drew out my five petal flower 
and I just cut it out and layered it and then I found some centers in my collection from snowflakes and I used that for my center and then here I found a little small die like this for the smaller um, center to give it more dimension but I was able to make a small one just from drawing it by hand so you can do this by hand or with a punch it's all up to you you don't have to run out and buy punches you can just draw it and it still comes out really nice so again thanks for joining me today I appreciate your time and have a great day